Welcome back guys, we're back again with another tutorial and this time we're going to be going over how to uninstall plugins. With that let's head over to our Modcraft control panel and when we're here we're going to head on over to files. Now there's a few ways to do this so we're going to show a few as well. So with the plugin list here you've got the choice of of course downloading plugins. We're going to show directly how to remove them off of there. Of course you do or you can download external plugins and either add it in through your FTP file access or FileZilla. Um, you can view these just by going to local plugins and you can see that I've downloaded Downloaded this one externally um, by that meaning that I've downloaded the file and then I've uploaded it through the FTP file access or FileZilla um, and I've got one on here on the plugin list which I've downloaded through the actual seeker host site itself so if I go to currently installed you can see egg wars reloaded now I'm going to be removing both of the, these plugins um, using both methods so first thing we're going to do is we're going to stop our server before we remove any plugins just to make sure that we don't corrupt any files once your server has completely stopped we're going to head on over to files and we're going to be doing for the first method using the plugin list on the actual server site so if we click on here it's going to bring us through to our plugins if you go to the currently installed section and if you're not seeing your plugin coming up just make sure that you got the source right because if I'm trying to look in bucket you'll see that I've got no plugins installed however I've got it on spigot so you can now see that this is my plugin that I have installed if we click on the plugin itself we can now choose whether we want to disable it or completely remove it if you want to disable it you're just going to click disable and it will disable it straight away and if you want to completely remove it from your server we're going to go for a remove that happens pretty instantly so with that we can now come back and if that's all you wanted to do you can now start back up your server and you won't have that plugin anymore however if you wanted to do it because it's uh, it might be a local plugin you can do it one of two ways or one of three ways so I say of course you can use FileZilla we have got another video if you do want to check that out that's on the seeker host tutorial page however we're going to be using either the local plugins or the FTP file access if you wanted to do it through the local plugins of course make sure your server is still stopped and you can choose it from here and you can simply click remove once you clicked remove you can then restart your server and it won't be on there anymore however you might want to do it through your FTP file access Access, so let's just log into there once logged in you're going to come and find the folder called plugins and you're going to see that we have it here we have grief prevention data and grief prevention jar now the actual jar is the actual plugin itself so if you delete the jar you're deleting the plugin if you're going to delete the grief prevention data that's the actual data that is accumulated um, throughout your setup and stuff that it might have remembered uh, for this instance it might be player plots and you know protected areas however we want to remove it so we're just going to tick the data and the jar. If you did actually want to keep the data um, and maybe just change the jar over, maybe they've updated the actual grief, grief prevention jar itself, you can simply delete this one and then re-upload the new grief prevention jar. This will mean that you keep all of your player data, so all their places will be, you know, if it's grief prevention, it'll be all their protected areas will still be protected. However, we want to completely remove this because we don't want it anymore and we don't want the player data. So we're going to select the grief prevention jar and we're going to do the data as well and we're going to hit delete. I'm going to hit submit and you're going to see these are all the folders that it has deleted from there so if we come back to the test server now and just restart we'll find that we've got no plugins because we've deleted both the grief prevention and the egg wars one from the plugin list so now that the server has started back up um, let's just go over to files and FTP file access just to make sure that it has actually deleted all the plugins and if I head on over to plugins here you can see that all we have left is plugin metrics and B stats so all the plugins have been successfully uninstalled so thanks for watching guys if you're looking for any more videos like this don't forget to check out the server tutorials on the seeker host website and of course if you are looking for your own minecraft server check out their awesome packages uh, we've got the prizes on the bottom and they've got some very competitive rates and some very good gameplay so thanks for watching again and we'll see you next time bye bye